I worked I worked at a credit union. It was a little local credit union, the same one that I worked was the, the, the Santa Claus at. And um, it was a stifling job. It wasn't it didn't lend itself to the creative mind. Like you weren't even able to like change your wallpaper on the computer you worked on every day. And it was like and what pisses me off is that like I let them crush me in that job. Like I had the opportunity to fly out to Los Angeles and interview Snoop Dogg. And I had to turn it down because it wouldn't give me off. And I needed the job and the health benefits and all that stuff. But I vowed after that I would never let a job stop me from having a life experience again. And I really held held strong to that. And I ended up kind of like telling them to go off themselves the second time that I had an opportunity to go to California. And I did follow, follow through with it. Um, there was a com this company called Jam City that makes mobile games. And they make the Family Guy mobile game called Another Freaking Mobile Game. And they flew me to Los Angeles to advertise that game with none other than Adam West. So I got to meet Adam West before he died. It was really amazing. It was like a month and a half before he died. You wouldn't even know he was sick. He was a really, really nice guy. He was, you know, I was like, how's out with name A.M. West? You know? <laughs> I got to hear him sing the Adam West song, and it was, it was really a surreal experience. And uh, that's just what I'm talking about with these life experiences that I've had with this. It's, it's really hysterical. Like some of the, the adventures that I've had, and you know, it's a, I almost wish that I had like like somebody to follow me around with a camera just to capture all the shit that I've done over the years. And it's not just Peter Griffin. Like when I met Roger Bumpus, who's the voice of, of uh, Squidward on SpongeBob, I was going back and forth with the guy as SpongeBob. I was like, Hey, Squidward, finish those errands? How about now? How about now? And that was a whole experience that was never on film. Uh, when I met Ian McDiarmid from from uh, Star Wars, he played the Emperor. I had a cackle off with him, and he never does that with fans. Because it was the last thing I did at uh, one of the cons that hired me. It was uh, Tampa Bay Comic Con, and it was the last thing I wanted to do before hopping on the plane to go home. Because my niece is a huge Star Wars fan, and I was like, I'm getting her the Emperor's autograph. Now, what's really cute is she was really small when I got this. So she was afraid that I was going to meet the Emperor and he was going to turn me to the dark side. That's how small she was. <laughs> but the last thing I did before hopping on a plane was I went on Ian McDermott's line and was taking forever. And the people realized who I was and they were like, you got to hop on a plane. Like, just go to the front of the line, get the autograph and go. So I went up to the girl to take the, takes the money to, to buy the prints. And I couldn't help myself. I was just like, hey, if, hey, if, 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 if. And he stops signing, looks up and says, that was very good. I was like, I have to say, Mr. McDermott, though, my absolute favorite is the cackle. <laughs> and he starts doing it back. And it was the most amazing thing I ever saw. It's like, why is this not on film? God, if somebody got that on film, I really hope they, they come, come to light with it so, at some point. Because that was... Uh, it, if I had a cameraman or somebody following me around, like a lot of these experiences probably tickle a lot of other people too. <laughs>